Hey YouTube, what's going on? Winter is coming here, and uh, we're going to be another, doing another beer review today. Today we are looking at Muskoka Brewery's Craft Lager. Now, Muskoka Brewery, they're up in Bracebridge, Ontario. It's not that far from here. It's about 40 minutes north of me, um, so I consider it one of our, our local breweries of the area. Uh, they're a brewery that I do actually quite enjoy. I've had most of their offerings, their products. Uh, aside from their lager, they make a cream ale, which is quite nice. They, Up until recently, they did make a dark ale, which is one of my favorite, if not the top dark ale you can get in the province uh, at the price, uh, but it's since been discontinued. They make three IPAs. They have a kind of a sessionable low ABV IPA. It's known as Detour. That's one of their more recent offerings. Uh, their regular IPA is called Mad Tom, and they have a double or imperial called Twice as Mad Tom, and I quite enjoy that. Um, aside from those, they have about four seasonals that they kind of rotate through throughout the year. And the one that I enjoy most is uh, the one that's in the winter. It's out actually now. It's... Um, uh, Winter Beard Double Chocolate Cranberry Stout, and it's awesome. I had a few of them over the Christmas break, and um, the ones that I had, though, they were aged. I think they are from 2013 or 12, so they were older, excuse me, bottles. Uh, the only way to get it fresh is actually go to the brewery itself in Bracebridge. So I'm hoping to get up there at some point this winter and uh, check that one out fresh. So uh, back to the lager. Um, it's a craft lager. They say it's an all-malt lager made with North American hops. It's your standard 473 milliliter Canadian tall boy. And uh, it's 4.8%, so it's a bit lighter than, uh, I guess, your standard lager. So let's open it up and see what we have here. Pour. Alright, no surprises here, it looks like a lager, um, most people when they think of beer this is pretty much what they look like, pale, golden, medium carbonation, again I'd say less than a finger ahead, seems to be dissipating quite quickly, um, no real lacing, looks like a beer right, let's give it a smell. Alright, nothing uh, not a whole lot popping out. It smells like beer. Uh, maybe a faint grassy hot presence. Um, not a whole lot going on. So uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Okay. So it looks like you're your standard, you know, your big guy lager, but this one actually has a bit of flavor. Uh, tastes much better. I'd say it's, it has a heavier mouthfeel than, say, Moosehead or Canadian or Blue. A bit more body than those. Um, bit of the malts in the background. You taste a bit of the... The hops are almost zesty. Now, this is one of the reasons why I kind of did like Moosehead over the other big guys. It had this zesty quality to it, which, to me, made it stand out. I'm kind of getting something similar off that one here. Again, for 4.8%, it's less than your standard 5% lager, but again, more body, more flavor, a much more impressive beer. Uh, very crisp, sessionable. This is probably, a, this is a great cottage, like a summer beer. You know, it's midwinter right now, probably not the best time of the year to be drinking these, but I still do quite enjoy these. Um, what do you have to pair with food? On a hot summer's day, I could just sit back and have quite a few of these, be quite enjoyable. Um, probably gonna pick quite a few of these up this summer. Um, what am I going to give this? Let's see. I'm going to give Muskoka's Craft Lager a 7 out of 10. Um, enjoy the beer. I've had it before. Probably pick a few more up this summer. Um, you guys are going to be seeing a few more reviews coming from me from this brewery, as I do quite enjoy the work. Um, until next time, cheers.